beginner six count swing. And for solo jazz, we added tacky yanks today, which look like this. Tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, step, some off. We do it three times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we do the jazz square. Step, 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 step. So the important things for the tachyanes are we stay low. We're bringing our arms back with our feet um, as we do it. Our stomp off, we practice going down into the floor, but also keeping it light at the same time. And then the jazz square, um, we're making a box on the floor with our feet, and we're swinging our arms in opposition to our feet as we go. We're just doing one of those then. Um, and then for partner dancing, we did a couple new moves. First one is the tuck turn which is in three parts, it looks like this. We have a rock, step, triple step, triple step. So the first part is the rotate out. The lead is hinging the right arm, and the follow is staying with that arm uh, to keep the connection. And then the second part is the in, and then the third part is when the lead raises the arm and sends the follow underneath. So once again, maybe from a different angle, we have rock, step, triple step, triple step. From here we did a pass by, or a side pass, where we do regular footwork, we're just changing places. We use the rock step to stretch apart from each other, and that energy sends us across to the other side. And then the third move we did was an underarm turn back to close, rock step, triple step, triple step. It feels just like the side pass for the lead, except they're staying in place. The follow, it also feels like the side pass, but their, their energy is gonna get caught back and closed by the uh, lead's right hand. Our left arm follows, it's gonna come up and over to go back to its original spot. Um, we talked about the lead, making sure that they're leading the follow so that there's enough room so that they can get their arm up and over without 